Casper, uh, obviously a great uh, honour to be on the uh, Cricket Australia board, uh, but obviously uh, some big challenges ahead, as you've heard from the chairman, uh, for, for the game in this country. Oh, I think it's an exciting time to be involved in, in the game of cricket here, and uh, I guess in, in my former capacity as the president of the Australian Cricketers Association, I had a, a good look from the outside, but um, when Queensland Cricket uh, asked me, and uh, Jim asked me to, to be involved um, as their nominee for the Cricket Australia Board, I thought this is a wonderful opportunity, of which I'm, uh, I'm very honoured uh, and feel very privileged to be part of this. Um, I think it's an exciting stage for Australian cricket. Uh, there's plenty happening. Uh, as Jim mentioned, there's a number of reviews uh, uh, with consultants um, and internal sort of looking at what's going on in Australian cricket. Um, there's going to be some, some interesting findings and uh, you know, I certainly want to be part of uh, Australian cricket um, when it looks at, at changing for the better. And Jim, obviously out of the reviews, what's Queensland Cricket's um, position, I suppose, in terms of um, and what it feels uh, the best way forward is through, through the, sort of the, uh, the Governor's review? Uh, there's no doubt that in Queensland Cricket's view, this is probably the most important, important review that's ever occurred in cricket in Australia. The governance, Queensland Cricket has been pushing extremely hard in the last 10 years for a complete change to the way that the, Queens, uh, the Cricket Australia Board is structured. And we're hoping that through the Carter and Crawford review, we will get dramatic change to the way this game's governed. Um, there's no doubt that other sports are moving ahead of cricket in this country. And I believe, and I know the Queensland Cricket Board believes, that this is purely because we ha they have an independent board that is running the game for the good of cricket as a whole in Australia, and not for the good of one state over another. Queensland Cricket's position is, and will remain to be, that the findings in relation to the Crawford and Carter report should be fully implemented as quickly as possible. Now you may say to me, that's an interesting position because you don't know what those findings are, but we take the view that when you have two incredibly experienced people like David Crawford and Colin Carter, that when they come and tell you what they believe is best for this sport, then you should listen very carefully. And I would ask that all board members from all around the country quickly and efficiently and effectively implement the review as quickly as possible when the findings are found. Uh, is that one of the reasons why, I guess, for the, for the Queenslanders who are now on the board, they are, they're, they're no longer a part of the Queensland Cricket Board, they effectively are, do have that free independent voice, in, the, in a sense that's the perception of how it should work? Absolutely. We decided that as far as we possibly could, we would implement what it is we say that Cricket Australia should implement. So our two board members are no longer board members of the Queensland Cricket Board, they are completely independent and only are answerable to, this, to the Queensland Cricket delegates body who elect them. Um, as far as we're concerned, all we want is that for every director at Cricket Australia level to do what is best for this game as a whole. Michael, you'd agree with those sentiments about an independent board taking the game into the future? Well, yeah, we've seen the benefit, haven't we, across the, certainly the AFL. Um, and at a delicate time too, I think, in Australian cricket, um, we have to capture the, the audience, and I know the Big Bash has been implemented um, and changed to, uh, to suit that. So there, there's, there's lots of things happening in Australian cricket. And, and the one thing that I guess cricket traditionally, or well, cricket does, is um, it's based on tradition and it doesn't change. Or, uh, it takes a little bit of time. So um, I think it's gonna be an interesting process um, to be involved um, in that, to see, um, to see sort of change through, um, to see that the benefits of it as well. I think um, you know, that's gonna be a big part of, of, of the reasoning to do it. Now, I think too, as, as coming in onto the Australian Cricket Board as a, an ex-player, um, one of the things you'll find um, is the most passionate people about cricket are the people that represented the state, but also represented their country because we, we've lived everything cricket. And I think that it's so important that we do also keep um, that element in the game, that, um, that, that the passion uh, through ideas, and, and new and concepts, but also the energy that I think that, that I can provide is something that um, is certainly going to benefit cricket. Michael, you've been heavily involved with the grassroots of the game through mm. you know, volunteer recognition programs at Queensland Cricket and also through the Bulls Masters. What's your feeling on the, on the state of play or the strength of the game or the health of the game at the moment? 
Well, I think that um, from a player's point of view, there's a lot of talent. Um, if you're looking at the national level or at uh, domestic level at the moment, there's um, some, some wonderful players through there. and. We just have to capture the younger people. I know that uh, over 35, um, cricket's still the, the most popular sport for, for males over 35. So um, it's different underneath that age. So we have to capture the audience. We have to uh, introduce the game. And I know that uh, T20 in the Big Bash is the, the vehicle to do that, to get them involved in the game, interested in the game. And once they appreciate the skills, that uh, the players are going to show, um, they'll appreciate test cricket because that, at the end of the day, is the best test of skill. Just give me a second.